Hello SpaceXers and space fans all over the world. We are 13 seconds away from the high altitude launch of SN9, the SN9 prototype from Ten, SpaceX. Nine, Six eight, seconds, once it leaves the ground, there is no coming back. It has to come back, hopefully in one piece and land. All right, we have Raptor ignition. No exploding, no exploding. Oh, that is so cool, look at the two, the, the twin starships there. Okay, so far so good, 10 seconds in. Now, last time we, we saw this, that's really loud. Let me, let me turn this down. That's freaking loud. Okay, um, last time what we thought were Raptor shutdowns, uh, something happened to the engines, uh, was actually perfectly planned. So I'm expecting to see the same thing this time. We're gonna see one by one, they're gonna turn off the engines in sequential order. I'm seeing some, some flames coming from the engine bay there. Um, everything still looks good. Remember, if, if something happens to this and they aren't sure what's going to happen, like if, if it starts going off course, they're going to push the go boom button and it is going to explode. Uh, so far so good. A minute in, super high already. I, again, I wish we had telemetry on how fast it's going and how high it's going, but unfortunately we don't. And this is so cool. Okay, now we're going to start seeing them shut down these engines. I see number 49's on fire already probably how it's supposed to work, believe it or not. Ah, oh, a minute, th almost a minute, 30 seconds in. It is so cool seeing the flaps. <laughs> okay, all right, so any minute we're gonna start to see them shut down an engine. The flight. Everything continues to be nominal with Starship. Just passing through three kilometer altitude. Just past three kilometers, they said. Major vent is shut down of engine. Engine number, number three, three shut down. There we go. Looks like the uh, the camera feed on the engine bay went out. Ah, oh, that sucks. All right, so that venting is probably perfectly fine. So three kilometers. They're going to ten kilometers this time. Okay. I'm gonna put this down so I. T plus two minutes, flight continuing on Starship. As a reminder, this is a test flight to a 10 kilometer altitude. Engine number three shut down on time. There we go. Planned. We're continuing to climb. Okay, so it's going to keep going with two engines. Everything continues to go well. And he said, remember, this is just a test. Um, this is not intended to work. Ex I mean, it would be great if it worked intended as they uh, exactly as they intended it, but there's no guarantee it's going to. This is just a test. What I'm hoping to see this thing uh, start to shut down all of its engines and then start its little belly flop maneuver. I can't wait to see that. All right, I'm not hearing any more commentary. Oh man, I would love to be in person seeing this. I saw a video from, from Tim Dodd, who's back at the, I think he's in a hotel back really far away and seeing this thing fall from the sky looked unreal. It looked unreal. All right, three minutes in, so far so good. No RUDs, which stands for uh, Rapid Unscheduled Disassembly. In other words, it explodes. Engine two, shut down. T plus three minutes, 20 seconds. We've shut down engine two on time. You saw that on the screen just a okay. few seconds ago. Starship now climbing on the power of Okay, engine so engine number, number one, one is still going. I'm sure that thing is throttled all the way up because it's the only one left. Oh, this is so exciting. Can you imagine seeing this thing fly out of basically an airport, not an airport, but flying and knowing there's people on that that are either going to the Mar to Mars or to the moon or just to the other side of the of the planet. That would be so freaking amazing. Okay, so still going, it looks like it's still... T plus four minutes, vehicle is at 10 kilometers. It's Apogee. It's at 10 kilometers. At Apogee, we're continuing to throttle down engine number so one. So they are slowly altitude. throttling that engine down so it stops ascending and it kind of is just basically Preparing hovering there until they're ready to start. On the propeller tank. Until they're ready to start the maneuver, the belly flop maneuver, here it comes. Come on, Starship! Four and a half minutes, we are handing off to the here we go. tank. We are beginning Here we to go. flip to horizontal. 
And the white cloud, the plume you were seeing, was intentional. There is a liquid oxygen. And so they're, they're, they're dumping. We've now transitioned to horizontal and beginning the subsonic. Look at this thing. Of the flight, where we check out the aft and the forward flaps. It, the it looks like it's, it, like it's going nose down, which it didn't do last time. Last time it looked like it was going pretty horizontal to the ground. I'm not exactly sure of the perspective of this camera. Maybe it is. It's just the, how the camera's positioned. Okay, that looks better. Okay. Can you imagine riding in this thing? You know, you, you just took a 15 minute flight, you know, to let's say the Middle East from the US and you are now sitting in this thing free falling through the ground. You can probably hear the wind blowing around it. Uh, okay. Uh, I thought the feed stopped there for a second. T plus five and a half minutes. Starship continuing okay. the subsonic descent. Using the forward and half flaps to control its attitude. As we so what it's doing is it's cap. using these flaps to control how so it, it dives. Well. So it doesn't Before start tumbling. Flight. It doesn't start uh, going off course. They can actually position these things. And using gravity and friction of the wind, they can position it exactly where they need to. This thing is so cool. Okay, Why we're coming cool? up. Oh, look at that thing, it's so cool. <laughs> okay. Six minutes, 10 seconds into flight. We're down beneath one and a half kilometers. We're Under one and a half kilometers, they're gonna restart the engines. engines. You can see the, the, the black bo uh, box, uh, box in the bottom. The Those burn. are thermal tiles. So when it, when Starship, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh no, God. <laughs> SN10, oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, I see, let's get cameras up. That was, that was not as good. <laughs> that was, that was not as good as SN8. Uh, that did not, uh, it looks like it didn't write itself all the way. So this guy talking, uh, he's actually the guy that does the, uh, the live cast during the Falcon 9 launches. So that was great. That was awesome. Unfortunately, did not stick the landing, not even close. Oh man, that sucks so bad. Um, so just to recap, we saw it launch successfully. It, it did not blow up on the launch pad. That's first. That's a first win. Uh, we saw it shut down all its engines on time and as they should have. Last time we thought those engines actually uh, had something wrong with them. Uh, we saw it using its its flaps, its its wing looking things on the side to help control where it was gonna be coming back down. And thank God it did not land on Starship SN10 sitting right next to it. But unfortunately it it rutted. It <laughs> it it did not land at all nicely. Ugh, that was exciting. Alright, thank you very much for watching. See ya!